Voidwalker here. I've always wanted the opportunity to play Resident Evil. I never played it myself, despite hearing so many rave reviews about its glorious eminence. So when the newest remake of the second title of the franchise was released, I decided that I had to play it. Without further ado, I want to raise the curtain on this magnificent gem, this crown jewel of gaming. Remastered, reincarnated, remade, re zero, Rem is best waifu. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce SpongeBob SquarePants typing? <laughs> I was just kidding, I haven't actually gotten Resident Evil 2 yet. I recognized something recently. A video doesn't need to be a huge time commitment that takes hours on end to write, record, and edit. If it can be quick, easy, meaningful, it can be small or large. Also, I read a comment by someone on Reddit saying YouTube videos are crap because they have no content. A typical YouTube video has five minutes of introductions and context and two minute conclusions saying subscribe. It was an awakening for me. Get to the content. Don't fill your videos with unnecessary fluff because you think it'll get you to the 10 minute mark. So SpongeBob SquarePants typing was the game that taught me touch typing and I played it again recently to relive that nostalgia. My conclusion? This game is humorous and useful and one of the only educational games that I would play because it's delightful to do so. It's fun. It has a polished finish and feels like another episode of Spongebob. The thing is, you can skip straight to the review quiz quizzes for each chapter if you're skilled enough, so you could skip through 90% of the game if you already knew the content, which feels like you were cheating. Each of the lessons is presented as a fight in the typing tournament and the satisfaction you get from achieving a certificate every time you complete a new level is unrivaled. Now, the best memories I had with this were the final lessons, so to speak, where you had three tests to check over what you had learned. They required finishing above a certain word per minute count. And what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to uh, build up your speed by doing many of the endless quizzes for each of the final tests. However, you could finish each one of the grand finals in one try by completing the first quiz, often a warm-up drill, above the word per minute count. You know what's even greater? I was looking for a way to relive the nostalgia of my childhood and share this memory with you. And this version that I was playing was a free one hour trial obtained, uh, I obtained from the internet. I ended up finishing the game, entire game in 47 minutes with 30 minutes, 13 minutes to spare. So I didn't even need to pay and I was able to get this recording. I uploaded the full gameplay under a Creative Commons Zero license, which you can find in the description if you wish to see. I'll show you the, fi f uh, the first test of the final tests, which was the most difficult because it wasn't a simple warm up drill, unlike the final test, which ironically was the easiest. So I finished with something like 75 words per minute, which is okay because you th only think ar at around 60 words per minute normally. I accidentally ended up recording my brother as well, uh, touch typing as well, so I'll show you uh, him typing. I'm sure he won't mind, but he's just really, really good at typing. My only criticism is Spongebob's voice and the sound when you type something incorrectly can both be very Just distracting and annoying, especially when you're trying to type. And yeah, that's it. It works. Uh, this game works on a Windows 10 PC, so if you, you want to learn how to touch type, this is my recommendation. And that's it for me. For me. Void Walker, out. SpongeBob, what is the secret to your typing success? <laughs> there you have it. If you want to be an award-winning typist, you just need to. <laughs>